Devin Hester, number 23, the Pro Football Hall of Fame. The answer is yes, but we'll get to that momentarily. Long ball time, daily Copic time. How you doing, everybody? I'm Chet Copic. This dawned on me Sunday when I was in Soldier Field and saw Devin Hester return yet another punt for a touchdown against Jim Schwartz and the Detroit Lions. Why do there remain certain National Football League coaches, head coaches, and special teams coaches who will punt or kick off to Devin Hester? It's really very simple. The National Football League is based on turf wars. It's built around machismo. I'm of the opinion the coaches during the week will convince themselves that if they tell their special teams don't punt to Devin Hester, they're basically saying you're a weak special team, which means that we're a weak football team in general. Now, that's point number one. Point number two, I've uh, debated this point for a long, long time, and I haven't backed off my original stance. You cannot compare Galloping Gale Sayers, the Hall of Famer, and Devin Hester. Gale Sayers was a complete football player, brilliant running back, he would have been an all-pro wide receiver had he played that position. He was a superb return man. In 1967, he averaged almost 38 yards per kick return. But I will say this about Devin Hester. Yes, Devin Hester does deserve to be in Pro Football's Hall of Fame. Now, at best, Hester is a marginal wide receiver. I've said this previously. Hester would make the Green Bay Packers as a return man. He would never make Mike McCarthy's roster as a wide receiver. But you tell me any player during the course of the 21st century, as abbreviated as it may be right now, who has been more electrifying on the National Football League level than Devin Hester? The answer is nobody. Nobody. My good friend Jeff Joniak with the phraseology. Devin Hester, you are ridiculous. You know what, Devin Hester, you are superb. You don't judge Hall of Famers based on quantity. Unless, of course, you talk about certain individuals like Dan Hampton, a guy who played with so many knee injuries, played through so much pain, yet uh, found the ability from within to earn the right to earn the gold blazer. In the case of Devin Hester, he is a defining football player. I have been covering pro football for 40 years. As a fan and reporter, I've been following the NFL for 50 years. There is simply nobody I have ever seen, Gale Sayers included, who is a better return man than Devin Hester. Again, he is the most electrifying player in pro football. You know what? Call up the guys in Canton, Ohio right now. Tell them that around the year 2022, he will not be a first ballot entry in the Canton, Ohio, in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He'll go in in his second, third, maybe fourth year of eligibility. But whatever the case may be, one of these days, Devin Hester will be giving an acceptance speech at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Why? Because he is unique. We are watching the greatest return man in the history of pro football. There will never be another return man as good or as electrifying as Devin Hester. Take that to the bank and any coach if I'm a club owner, any coach, head or special teams, who punts to Devin Hester, I fire him right on the spot. This has been The Daily Copic. I'm Chad Copic. We'll catch you next time around. So long, everybody.